all right so on the third tab of the admin console we will talk about the users tab and this is the most of the admins will use so this tab is to add the users on the admin console and give them a subscription so you can add users by multiple ways if you have a user sync tool established then you can sync your users from your active directory to adobe admin console you can add users by clicking on add user button and after that you can fill in the information to you can assign products uh, you can also add users by csv as well so if i click on add users by csv it will give me an option to download a standard template and if i download this particular template it will give all the fields to fill uh, depends upon the identity type what you are using for uh, the end users so based on that you can add these users so for example uh, there there are three identity types that adobe provide that is adobe id enterprise id and federated id so if you are adding someone as enterprise id means you have already claimed a domain for that and you are adding users as enterprise or federated id so for enterprise these fields are very important username the domain uh, the domain should be the domain which you have already claimed and the email address will be the same as the username so first name last name country and over here the product configuration you are simply an add to the product so the configuration uh, i talk about is the one so this is the product configuration uh, all i need to do is to copy this and i need to paste it over here so over here i can just put this product configuration and in the admin role if i want to add someone as an admin like deployment or product profile or even a system admin i can define his role over here and after that once i upload that csv he will have the admin rights similarly i can add a profile like for example i am adding someone and i want to give him a product admin rights so i can specify the product name over here and he will be an admin to that particular product for example uh, this user i wanted to add uh, to the, some specific user group i can simply specify the user group over here as you can see uh, there are these are self explanatory and so uh, like the user group administrator i can mention the user group and even the product administrator i can mention the product name as well so accordingly uh, whatever information i will fill over here in the csv file and upload the csv file accordingly the user will get the same permissions and when he will be added on the console so if you go back over here under the users tab as i mentioned two ways one is to add user another way is to add users by csv and if i like for example if i have already you have already added the users on the console and you wanted to make changes uh, you can click on edit identity by the csv and uh, you can download either the standard template or the current user list what is already have on your console so another option is to remove users like you have to remove multiple users at once so you can just click on the remove users and if you want to export the user list whatever users are there on your console you can export user list by csv so everything is there and once you upload the csv file and you want to check uh, like the progress uh, you can just click on the bulk operation results and it will give you the progress and if there are some errors it will list give you the list of errors as well what all users are not able to add on this admin console so everything is there as you can see uh, this is all the information and this is all about the users tab the other thing you can see are the user groups so the user group are similar like uh, the product profiles like for various departments you create various product profiles as per your requirements similarly you can create user groups as well as per your requirements if i go to the user group and try to add a user group i can just click on the new user group and name it as test adobe 12345 and i click on save over here now if i search for that i can see this user group and if i click on that and over here i can just go ahead and click on the profile 
I can choose which product I want to assign to that particular user group. So for example, I assign this particular product profile to the user group. So any user I will add to this particular user group will have this particular product profile as well. You can add user group administrator as well who can manage the users and over here here is the list of users available in this particular user group so similarly you can add users by csv to a user group and you can unassign users by a csv it's the same options uh, what you see over here in the users tab similar options will be available over here using the csv operation now over here you can see the list of admins available on the admin console and if you have claimed any domain or created any directory you will see the list of users what are there in the directory user list with enterprise or federated ids so this is all about the users tab and i hope you are able to understand thank you